Okay, I had a request um, to show, make a video of how you can finish your Flash website to make it fit better within the browser. And so here's um, one interesting solution that I came up with, and that is you can see here that when I um, resize the um, Flash site that I've created here, that there's a couple of nice things that happened, and that is I no longer have the borders around the edge of the um, Flash movie. Um, before, and I'll show you how I did that, I edited the HTML file here and I basically, um, I'll comment out what I did here, and I, I basically in the body tag of the HTML, you find your body tag, here's a background color, and then you put in margin width equals zero, margin height equals zero, top margin equals zero, and left margin equals zero. If I get rid of that, I'll show you what happens if I get rid of that. Okay, so we'll just comment that out. Okay, and um, put that there and hit save. And then go back to my browser and hit refresh. You'll see that now I have this little border that's on the left at the bottom and on the right and at the top. It still is sizing correctly and stretching. It's stretching to the size of the window, right? And, um, but it still got, has that border. So what you want to do is, in your HTML file for your site, and here is my site. I'll just show you really quickly. Um, my site, this is the website right here, right? So I've got the Flash file. This is the Swift movie. Here's my FLA file, my Flash movie, there's my HTML file. So I'm editing this HTML file, and what I'm doing is putting in inside the body tag, right? I'll take out this comment. Within this body tag, margin width zero, margin height zero, so, so do that. And then the other thing that you might want to play with is how you're going to work this. So, well, hold on one second, let me refresh that and make sure that works now. Okay, so the the margins are gone and now the other thing that I did was is I played with my settings in my publish settings file publish settings on my site and I changed dimensions to percent from match movie to percent 100 percent and um, and then also scaling there's exact fit that's what's on right now you could also do let's say no border if I do that and hit publish no border um, and I refresh, there's no border, but you can see that the dimensions stay the same. So um, if at, at a stretched out scale, at a stretched out uh, elongated scale, the top of my site has disappeared. So that didn't work out, right? So the top of my site has disappeared. I didn't, I didn't uh, enjoy that, right? It's okay if I have it more of a square format because that's how I created my original stage. It was in kind of a square format, right? Now I can see the top of my site. But if I stretch out my window, it scales, but it scales and the top goes right off the top. So that didn't work out. I didn't like that. And I'm, you know, maybe you could play with it and figure out how to get that not to... Um, do that, but I had a problem with that. So what I did was instead of no border, I went from default down to exact fit. Uh, hit publish. Then refresh my window in Firefox. And now it um, it stretches, uh, and you might like that on your site. You might not, um, but I I like it because now the top of the site is is still showing. And so depending on the size of the window everybody you're gonna see all of the content right and it's much better that way and um, I've got this uh, border here that's back and the reason the borders back the gutter is because um, when I hit publish it published a new um, uh, HTML page without the margin height so what I need to do is it says uh, someone changed them do you want to reload them and I'll hit, um, let's see here. Do you want to reload them? Cancel. What I'll do is I'll save that again. 
Okay, save that, and now my changes will be um, reflected. So when I hit publish by accident, I published over my HTML page, and I lost that border, that zeroed border. So anyway, that's uh, a nice way to finish off your site, to have it centered and stretching across the entire browser window using Flash.